I know I probably shouldn't be talking about them behind their back, but it's hard. I know I'm not the most emotional person myself. I don't really understand sentimentality to a certain level, but it's like they're just completely void of emotions. Or maybe they just have a hard time expressing themselves, like me. No, I've tried talking to them about it. I have, but they either tell me they don't know or they're fine. Which is what makes me think it's the latter reason I said. They're not mean. Well, I don't think they mean to be mean. They're just blunt and very pragmatic. In the time I've known them, it's not like I do everything in our friendship. Sometimes they do things for me without me asking, or without so much as a word. They just do it. I don't know if they do it because they feel obligated to, or maybe because they'll think it'll please me, or something else. And talking to them is hard, too, because it's difficult to know if they actually, you know, get it. Like, they'll say, yes, I understand, or, all right, I got it. But the way they say it makes me feel like they're hearing me, but not understanding me, you know? I've never alluded to or implied anything bad when I've talked to them. Or at least, I don't think I have. They don't really talk about their feelings that much. It's kind of difficult being their friend sometimes. But I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. Emotions are complicated and can be layered or multifaceted. I'm sure a simple, I'm sad, could go a long way, but you still need to break down why you're sad, and it's hard for some people. And I want to be understanding of it. I do. I'm not blaming them for their... coldness, I guess. Or, at best, cool-headedness. At worst, emotionless. Emotionlessness, I mean. That's the thing, though. If you want to confess to someone, you want some sort of reaction, right? At least a smile, or something. If I confess to them, I'll get a straight face looking back at me and a... Oh, okay. That's nice. I mean, I guess I'll never know if I don't do it, but I'm... I'm scared. They're impossible to read, and I don't know what it is they feel, even subconsciously most of the time. So how am I supposed to know whether they like me back or not? That's a bit of a loaded question. Well, no, they don't express themselves enough to be loved by you, I suppose. But with me, it's different. It doesn't put me off in a I-can't-be-friends-with-a-rock-like-you way, but in a I don't want either of us to be hurt by our inability to properly read and navigate each other way. That's rude. Just because they don't express themselves doesn't mean they're not deserving of love. I don't know what goes on in their mind, but do any of us know what goes on in anyone's mind? We only know based on what others tell us, and then we make predictions based on past patterns that are visually observable. Just because I can't see or know what they're thinking doesn't equate to them being unlovable. Some people are in love with the ocean, even though most of its depths are still unknown. Why would this be any different? I probably won't say anything. I don't want to confuse them or put them in a tough spot. If they do have trouble expressing themselves, then springing this on them would make it worse. I'm assuming, of course, but I'm playing it safe. I'm satisfied with being friends. I feel like I've been able to become closer to them than anyone else, and I love it. I don't want to lose them over my dumb feelings. High risk, high reward, yeah, I know, but again, why would I purposely make things complicated for them? I, I don't know. They could have trouble navigating their head themselves, let alone trying to wrap it around why I love them. Man, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just rambling a little. They didn't do anything bad. We don't have any issues with each other. I'm just a little frustrated, I guess. Nah, it's fine. I'll figure it out for myself. I've been fine around them, so nothing will be different. I'm good at keeping things like this under wraps, so they won't know a thing. That's really all I wanted to talk about. Thanks for listening to me ramble on. It was probably annoying. My bad.